Zion Order is by far the Splatoon franchise's most hyped campaign yet. And I asked you to send me your theories about the upcoming DLC. So today, we're going to be going through a few of these replies to see what you guys are cooking up. Starting off, we have Little Judd is probably the villain. To be honest, I wouldn't doubt it since Little Judd did take up the gauntlet of supposedly being the Salmon Run runner or whatever, the CEO or owner of Salmon Run. So who knows, maybe they could be the villain, but I doubt it for this game. The reward for completing the DLC is being able to change the color of your fingers and the ends of the hair. To be honest, I really hope that ends up being the case, but that would be freaking amazing. When I was patching release, I believe we ended up getting more eye colors, so hopefully this actually ends up being the case. It'd be really nice for the game. Remember the skeleton fishies all pointing towards the copy machine during Splatoween? Keep that in mind and notice how these figures behind what seems to be Agent 4 look more humanoid than anything else we have seen. What if they are like field cloning attempts of Agent 4? To be honest, I genuinely forgot about the whole fish theory, but that actually would be really cool to see in the game. It'd be really cool to see like a link between the copy machines and the DLC. So I think it'd be really cool to fight these. Not really a theory, but I find the date it's coming out really interesting. Everything 3 has a huge triple three theme on everything they've possibly been able to put on. And all these twos can't be a coincidence that our plotline includes Incopolis Square and Off the Hook. I mean, I definitely agree with that. The timings for Splatoon 3's release in terms of certain aspects of the game have been a bit on the nose with the whole like, you know, use of threes. But ironically, this uses a lot of twos. It comes out February 2nd, no, February 22nd, 2024. So there's a lot of twos that they're using, which is very odd to be honest. It's all simulation made by Marina, which eventually took over her and now Aiden and Pearl have leaped into the simulation that feeds off Marina's memories, which can explain how the dead fish we see inside her head seems to still have personality traits since she's mostly sanitized. That actually is like a rather interesting theory that like, Yes, it's all simulation, but it's based off of Marina's memories, not just it's a complete simulation. That actually would be more interesting than just it being a typical simulation. Oh, villain for this, villain for that. What if they're like Agent 3 in Auto Expansion, a pawn for a greater villain to control, especially before the main villain's grand reveal? I just want to say 4 might look a tiny bit or half like the Skelefish, maybe. I would love to see like a sort of like skeletized version of Agent 4, just any character really. That'd look freaking amazing. Little Judd is involved in some way. It's already can that he's tried eliminating Judd, so why wouldn't he try an entire city as an attempt? Wait, what? That's an actual thing he's done? He's wait, Little Judd's tried taking out Judd before? Wait, that's a thing? Not only really a theory, but the same date that the DLC comes out, it's Cat Day in Japan, which is cool. Didn't they release Splatoon 3 on Bear Day? They released something about Splatoon 3 on Bear Day, I think. So maybe releasing it on Cat Day is not a coincidence. Maybe Little Judd has more to do in this game than I initially thought. We're in a virtual simulation. Marina isn't the villain, but caused all of this on accident through her attachment issues and trauma surrounding it, which the DLC will explore. And we'll have more people than Dead and Pearl with us on the elevator by the end of it. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt if like floor by floor, somewhere like the deep sea metro, some people will get on the elevator and some people will get off. I wouldn't doubt if by the time we reach the top, we have at least three more people on board with us that can maybe help us in a fight or like during love or something. That would be kind of cool to see. Marina got too invested in her love for everything back in the square and this digital world was her creation gone out of control. She's still a good person, just lost in it. With how like bittersweet the soundtrack has felt in the, in the trailers, I wouldn't doubt if the sort of like bittersweet story to the actual campaign is something that ends up being true. I made this massive thread a while ago and I think it might be one of the most likely theories to be true. In Splatoon 2 Auto Expansion in the second chat room, Marina tells us that the magnetic fields are acting weird and are more powerful than physically possible. She then tells us that time runs slower there or the space seems to be distorted. What distorts space, you might ask me? Gravity. Gravity is known to distort space and time to the point where if you want to spend, for example, two hours around a massive object like a black hole, 50 years would pass on Earth. How is this related to slide order? I think the location where we are in slide order is actually from a different dimension than the Inkalpus that we know. I think that Marina, Pearl, and Eight went back to the Deep Sea Metro and found the source of the distortion. Another reason why I think this is related to the Deep Sea Metro is because Ox has this specific line, another bystander who got sucked in. Looked into what? A dimension traveling machine? We know Octa lives in the underground, so there's no other reason for them to be here. But wait, it gets better. Who built the machine? Marina, obviously. We already know she can manipulate gravity with shifty stations and how Pearl says she made a bunch of rocks float. In fact, I think that this right here is the machine that sends us into the order dimension and is the first boss fight in the game. 
Marina loses control and we lose the fight or win and it blows up for something and she takes place in the deep sea metro. A bit like across the spider-verse, I think we're gonna try to find a way to get back into our original dimension and find out what happened to Marina. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this here. If this theory is true, these two are the off the hook of the order dimension, just like the Miles Jean Morales is Miles from Earth 42. And all of us who thought this was about cloning, it would actually represent all the Agent 8s across all the different dimensions that exist. To be honest, that was a very massive theory and I, with a, this amount of evidence, I can see it being true because this machine does appear in the trailers, but if you notice in the background, it is strikingly different to every other shot in the game. This is like one of the very few shots in the trailer that is sort of dark and in this like sort of dingy area. Every else in the trailer is sort of this like bright white area. This area specifically stands out the most. So we could end up seeing this be true, but who knows? Well, that's basically all I wanted to check out for today. You guys have some amazing theories and honestly, feel free to suggest more in the comment section down below. But for now, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Feel free to sub if you enjoy my content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Two, one.